In those patients that have had a large breast implants removed, they're often left with a lot of loose skin once the implants have been removed. In those cases, it's often a good idea to think about lifting the, the breasts because when the, the breasts are lifted and the nipple is put into a higher position, it also allows me to take the loose skin away underneath the, the nipple and create a nice shaped breast. That's a very popular procedure. For those ladies that want a little bit of extra volume in the breast, uh, injecting some fat into the breast tissue uh, can give a small increase in volume and often makes a, a nice looking pert breast. Another common procedure once the implant has been removed is to replace it with a new, latest model and smaller implant to give a, a nice, smaller looking breast than what you started off with. Uh, using the breasts with the latest breast implants with the latest technology, which means they're, they're more future proof and less likely to need operations in the future. For those ladies who want their breast implants changed, the option is to go larger or smaller with the implants. The technology in the later implants has been really good, and the results, uh, are, um, as expected with a newer and higher technology implant, better than they were when the implants were first put in. Depending on the procedure that you decide to have after the implant has been removed, it can take anywhere between two to three hours for the procedure to be completed. It's done under general anaesthetic. It's usually a day case, which means you can go home after uh, the procedure and not have to stay in hospital overnight. You're normally fitted with a bra and we see you back in the office four or five days after the procedure. After the procedure, it's important to have good regular follow-up, which we do for you in the office. The best possible results are if you follow what we tell you to do and over the period of the two or three months from the time of your operation we'll guide you through um, when you can get back to work, when you can drive your car, when you can get back to the gym and this is also tailor made for each person because everybody's a little different but the end result uh, if you follow what we say uh, is the best you can get. Breast implants won't last a lifetime. Therefore, sometime after you've had your breast implants, you will need to have the implants removed or replaced. If you're having them replaced, the options open to you are obviously a, a newer implant with better technology, and it's a, a very popular procedure to have implants um, replaced. Implants in terms of lifespan can vary from maybe 10 years to 20 years, uh, depending on the brand of the implant that you had initially and to how your body reacts to the implants. It's a very common uh, procedure to have them changed and at the time of the change you have the option of either having bigger, smaller or the same size implants. Obviously if they're the same size implants you don't have to buy new clothes. If they're bigger or smaller then that's a, a different story. Uh, we see a mixture of ladies wanting both bigger and smaller implants and if the implants are a lot smaller than what you have currently then you will have loose skin and there will need to be some form of procedure done in order to tighten the loose skin. If you're going bigger in size, that's a different story. Uh, the skin will stretch and you don't need another procedure to, to uh, change the quality of the skin. If you think this procedure might be good for you, please make a time to come and see me. I'll be happy to discuss the procedure with it length and in particular the different options you have once the implants have been removed.